Aircraft carriers are like floating cities, they are the heart of a modern navy. These massive ships carry fighter jets, helicopters, and other aircraft. This gives them incredible power. Carriers can launch attacks anywhere in the world. They are also vital for defending a nation's interests at sea. The development of aircraft carriers changed naval warfare forever. Before carriers, battleships ruled the seas. They were slow and cumbersome. Aircraft carriers brought speed and agility to the battlefield. They could strike quickly and disappear just as fast. The impact of these ships goes beyond military might. They project power and influence across the globe. Understanding their history and evolution is crucial to understanding modern naval strategy. The story of aircraft carriers begins long before airplanes. In the mid-1800s, people used hot air balloons for observation. These balloons were often launched from ships. This gave them a better view of the battlefield. As technology improved, so did the aircraft. Inventors developed early airplanes called biplanes. These planes were small and light. Some people wondered if they could take off from ships. This led to the first experiments with water-based aircraft. These early attempts were crude. They often ended in crashes. But they showed the potential of using aircraft at sea. The dream of launching planes from ships was becoming a reality. France was a pioneer in early aircraft carrier development. In 1910, they converted a cruiser into the This ship could carry seaplanes. It was the world's first seaplane carrier. The French continued to innovate. They built the in 1927. This was the first ship designed from the start as an aircraft carrier. It had a full-length flight deck and a hangar for storing planes. The marked a significant step forward in carrier design. These early French carriers were limited. They could only launch seaplanes. Seaplanes needed to land and take off from water. This limited their range and effectiveness. The next challenge was to create a ship that could launch and recover land-based aircraft. In 1911, an American pilot named Eugene Ely made history. He took off from a platform built on the USS. This was the first time an airplane had taken off from a ship. A few months later, Eli achieved another milestone. He landed his plane on a platform built on the USS. This was even more difficult than taking off. It required precise timing and control. Eli's daring feats proved that airplanes could operate from ships. This opened up a new era in naval warfare. The race was on to build bigger and better aircraft carriers. Section 5. HMS a giant leap for naval warfare. The first true aircraft carrier was the HMS. This British ship was completed in 1918. It had a full-length flight deck which allowed it to launch and recover land-based aircraft. It was a major technological achievement. It paved the way for the modern aircraft carriers we see today. It demonstrated the potential of carrier-based aircraft in naval warfare. The might seem small compared to today's carriers, but it was a revolution in its time. It marked a turning point in naval history. Section 6. Anatomy of a giant inside an aircraft carrier. Modern aircraft carriers are massive engineering marvels. They are essentially floating cities designed to operate independently for months. They have everything needed to support a large crew and air wing, including living quarters, dining facilities, and medical centers. Let's explore the key areas of these incredible vessels, each with its own unique function. Flight deck. This is the heart of the carrier, a bustling hub of activity. It's where aircraft take off and land, a critical area for operations. It's a carefully designed space, equipped with advanced technology. It includes a catapult system to launch aircraft and arresting wires to help them land safely. Hangar deck below the flight deck is the hangar deck, a vital area for aircraft operations. This is where aircraft are stored, maintained, and repaired, ensuring they are ready for missions. It's a hive of activity when the carrier is at sea, with crews working around the clock. Island. This is the tower-like structure on the flight deck, often referred to as the island. It's the command center of the ship, where critical decisions are made. The captain and crew direct flight operations from here, ensuring smooth and efficient missions. Living quarters. Thousands of sailors live and work on an aircraft carrier, forming a tight-knit community. They need places to sleep, eat, and relax, just like any other city. The carrier has living quarters, mess halls, and even a small store to meet their daily needs. Engine room. Deep inside the ship is the engine room, a critical component of the carrier. This is the heart of the carrier's power plant where energy is generated. It generates the massive amount of power needed to propel the ship and launch aircraft, ensuring the carrier's operational readiness. 
Section 7. Taking flight and landing safely. A delicate dance. Launching and recovering aircraft on a carrier is a complex and dangerous operation. It requires precision and skill from both the pilots and the deck crew. To launch an aircraft a powerful catapult is used. This steam-powered system propels the aircraft to flying speed in seconds. The aircraft then lifts off and climbs into the sky. Landing is even more challenging. The pilot has to guide the aircraft onto the short runway. They use a tail hook to catch one of the arresting wires stretched across the deck. This brings the aircraft to a stop in a very short distance. These operations are a testament to human ingenuity. They demonstrate the incredible skill and bravery of everyone involved. Section 8. A City at Sea. The Crew and Their Roles. An aircraft carrier is like a floating city, bustling with activity and life. It requires a vast crew to operate effectively, each person contributing to the mission. Each member of the crew has a specific role to play, ensuring the ship runs smoothly. The crew is divided into departments based on their responsibilities, creating a well-organized structure. The Air Department handles aircraft operations, managing takeoffs and landings. The Engineering Department keeps the ship running, maintaining all the essential systems. The Navigation Department is responsible for the ship's course and safety, guiding it through the seas. You can tell a sailor's role by the color of their uniform, a system that enhances coordination. Purple shirts are grapes who handle fuel, ensuring aircraft are ready for their missions. Yellow shirts are aircraft handlers who move the planes, directing them safely on deck. Red shirts are ordnance men who handle weapons, preparing munitions for use. This color coding system ensures everyone knows their job and can be easily identified, promoting efficiency. Life on board is demanding, with sailors facing tough conditions daily. Sailors work long hours in challenging conditions, showing remarkable resilience, but they are a proud and dedicated group, committed to their duties. They know their work is vital to national security, and they perform it with honor and dedication. Section 9, Fortress at Sea, Defending the Carrier. Aircraft carriers are valuable targets, they need strong defenses to protect them from attack, these defenses include sophisticated weapon systems and well-trained personnel. Carriers are rarely alone. They travel with a group of other warships called a carrier strike group. This group provides layers of protection. It includes destroyers, cruisers, and submarines. These ships work together to detect and deter threats. The carrier itself is armed with missiles and guns. These weapons can defend against aircraft, missiles, and surface ships. The carrier also relies on its own aircraft for defense. Fighter jets provide air cover. They intercept enemy aircraft and missiles. The defense of a carrier is a complex operation. It requires constant vigilance and coordination. But it is essential for ensuring the safety of the ship and its crew. Section 10. Keeping the fleet fueled. The logistics of supply. Aircraft carriers have a voracious appetite. They consume vast quantities of fuel, food, and supplies. Keeping them supplied is a logistical challenge. Support ships play a vital role in this effort. These ships, known as oilers and supply ships, rendezvous with the carrier at sea. They transfer fuel, food, ammunition, and other necessities. Refueling at sea is a delicate operation. It involves connecting hoses between the ships while they are underway. This requires skilled seamanship and precise navigation. The logistical network that supports a carrier is impressive. It ensures that the ship and its crew have everything they need to complete their mission. Section 11. The Future of Naval Power Carriers in the 21st Century. In this section, we will explore the evolution and future prospects of aircraft carriers, which have been pivotal in shaping naval strategies. Aircraft carriers have been a dominant force in naval warfare for decades. From their early days in World War II to their modern incarnations, they have continuously adapted to the changing demands of warfare. They continue to evolve to meet new challenges, incorporating the latest in technology and design to maintain their edge. The future of aircraft carriers is likely to be shaped by technological advancements and changing global dynamics. These massive ships are becoming more versatile and capable with each passing year. One major trend is the development of unmanned aircraft. These drones are revolutionizing naval operations by providing new capabilities and reducing risks to human pilots. Drones are playing an increasingly important role in naval operations. They can perform reconnaissance, strike missions, and surveillance with greater efficiency and lower costs, and even provide refueling support. 
extending the range and endurance of manned aircraft. Another trend is the development of new weapon systems. Hypersonic missiles, lasers, and other advanced weapons are being integrated into naval arsenals. These advanced weapons pose new threats to aircraft carriers, challenging their traditional dominance. Navies are developing new technologies and tactics to counter these threats. Engineers and strategists are working tirelessly to ensure that aircraft carriers remain effective. Despite these challenges, aircraft carriers are likely to remain a cornerstone of naval power for the foreseeable future. Their sheer size and capability make them unmatched in projecting power. Their ability to project power around the globe makes them invaluable assets. They serve as floating air bases, capable of launching and recovering aircraft anywhere in the world. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more capable and sophisticated aircraft carriers in the years to come. These future carriers will likely incorporate cutting-edge technologies that we can only imagine today.